What is going on, true believers? It's hard to find the right crypto. It is hard sometimes to figure it out. And when you do figure it out, most of the time it's too late. Every once in a while you get lucky, you buy just a little bit of everything and one of them happens to take off. But because you didn't find it, you didn't put enough in it, you don't have that life-changing money. Only a few people uh, get that moment. We don't all get that moment. But there are a lot of tokens out there, a lot of cryptos, a lot of coins that just have an opportunity to go. So what I'm trying to do is go through and find things that have opportunities and you know, we'll define what those opportunities are. Now, when you're dealing with DeFi, the DeFi is not dead, but the market is a Bitcoin market until it's not a Bitcoin market. And that being the case, there are a lot of different projects out there that might be gems. They might be good enough to have big runs. They might be okay. They might be, I don't know. Uh, they could fail at any time. They could succeed at any time. You never really know what's going to happen in this space. Now, I'm going to go over one right now, and I know a bit about it, but I'm going to look with you, and we're going to look at it and decide for ourselves, is this the play or is this a play? I am not sponsored nor endorsed by this project. I also am not an investor in this particular project. I have no skin in this game at this point. Um, so, you know, I don't know enough about it. I do know that there are some passionate people, very passionate people who love this project, who reach out to me from time to time and have always asked me to talk about it. So we're going to talk about it and we're going to see where this fits in. Uh, now, if you like this content, please make sure that you hit the like button. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to be notified of future content if you like this one. And without further ado, we're going to talk about Cytochain. Now, for those of you that have been under a rock, this is previously Saitama. Saitama. Well, the token launched around the middle of 2021, went up to a, a what really turned out to be a legendary run, culminating in a Las Vegas event for a project that really ended up being quite the disaster in the short term. Uh, the project was being created and it didn't work. And when they got it launched, it wasn't working right. And it seemed like maybe that was the end, a very slow end for a project that went to a $7.7 .7 billion market cap. There were a lot of, there was a lot of negativity. And there was one guy at the center of it, and his name was Russell Armand. Russell Armand uh, was, he had big shoulders. He took the blame for everybody and everything. There were a lot of people involved in this. There were uh, th there were a lot of th there were a lot of people behind closed doors that were working on this project, and it was not functioning. Uh, it was not being used. It was not there was there was a problem. There was a big problem, and then of course that was also the top of the the bull market. And from that point on, everything was downhill from there. So no matter what you do at that point, it, it's going down. So that leaves us with something has to happen at some point. So everybody who ravenously defended Saitama over time started to quickly dwindle away. There were rumors of leaks of funds that were filling the pockets of all of the people who were part of it. There were uh, uh, allegations of abuse uh, of substances. There were so many different things. It's a it's a fantastic summary, which we're not going to get into, but it existed, so we should at least acknowledge it. But that brings us forward to Saitama in and of itself, I think, as a token, ended up swapping to Cytochain. And that's where we have a blockchain. And that blockchain is called Cytochain. Now, it was announced back in 2021, and it's now uh, something that's happening now the beta test net 
is live. It's not live. Cytochain is not live yet, but it is in beta. You can go test it if you want to right now. I'm going to show you. There are links right here. In fact, let's go check this out right now. If you want to, uh, you can visit cytoscan.io and witness the big transformative phase of the cytom Cytochain blockchain. Users can engage in contract deployment testing for additional testing tokens. Simply hit the request button. So very simple. You come over here to cytoscan.io and you can get started here. Grab a MetaMask wallet, uh, add the Cyta network and do your thing. Now, any ERC20 compliant wallet will probably work on this. So uh, I'd would be, I'd be very careful and I'd be doing testing, but that's what the beta testing is for. Uh, there's no harm to your wallet in doing that. So if you're interested, then you should certainly go check that out. But um, it, it's getting closer and closer to where a launch will happen. Now, uh, the launch is being fronted and run by MK Cytochain. That's Manny the Hitman, for those of you that have been around for a length of time. And uh, that in, there's going to include a lot of different things. Now, if you want to absolutely go check out everything that's going on with Manny, uh, you can go see that he engages with the community a lot. He shares a lot with the community. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen in the background that he tries to keep you informed on and much of the previous team is gone there are there are reasons uh, in fact uh in in one of their wallet apps called Cyta Pro uh, I believe one of the previous developers Russell himself had a token on there that was taken off and delisted off Cyta Pro for whatever reason so there's there's some you know um there there's some Definitely some interesting things that have happened over time, but we're not here for that again. We're here to check this out. So we got Cytochain, we've got MK, uh, which is what he goes by. And then we have the website here, and this is Cytochain. And there are things that work here. Predominantly, you have Cytocard, which is a debit card that you're able to fund and use to go out, pay your bills. Very sleek, by the way, looking card. As you can see in this little uh, thing right here, the logo has become a, a wiry sort of wolf logo. Uh, the Saitama group was called the Wolf Pack. So I assume that that still reigns supreme. Again, I do not look at this anymore. So I'm flying blind and we're learning this together. Then you have Cyta Pro. Cyta Pro is a trading uh, app inside of uh, inside of a crypto wallet, and you can list your project. If you're interested in listing a project, you can list your project with uh, Cyta Pro. Uh, then you have Cyta Swap, which is a uh, decentralized swap, uh, not an exchange, but you'll you're able to. And by the way, Swap is located inside Cyta Pro as well, so you're able to uh, do a lot of swapping if if you wish to and there's a nominal fee it's it's uniswap so there's a a small fee to it but uh you're welcome to do that and then you have site of logistics site of logistics um is an interesting concept when you uh when you look around here and you start to to kind of dig in um site of logistics is basically a transport company so uh, saitama has this um uh, mechanism in which if you are interested then um, site of logistics, the ship package packages to people, um, and logistics is basically the transfer of, uh, packaging around. You can see right here in the, this right here. Uh, so an interesting concept. Now, I don't know the success of it. I have no idea. We're flying blind right now. We're deciding whether or not this is an investment that we would like to look at, maybe even, uh, talk about in the future as something that could, that could, you know, that we could be trading. Uh, and then we have finally on this, the Cyta Realty Company. Now, Cyta Realty is launched uh, on both, I think, Ethereum and it's launched on the Cyta Pro app and you can download it. And um, as a crypto, basically what the concept is, is that you become an investor in real world real estate assets. Now, I don't know the functions or the uses of it. Again, we're just looking to see if this is something that we want to do now. If you want to invest in Saitama, you can also uh, buy STC on Bitru, Bitmart, CoinBazaar, Hotcoin, Gate.io, LA Token, Poloniex, XT, BKEX, uh, Giatis. I don't know what that is, but I, I, in all fairness here. LBank, ShibaSwap, Bybit, MEXE Global, and Sushi. So there are 
uh, swaps. It is available on quite a few of them. If you want to get, uh, if you want to start getting information here, and you know what, let's do this. We're going to put my email address in here, and we'll just subscribe to it, and they'll send us updates. Uh, so there we go. So now we have that, and uh, there we have it. So let's go around and let's kind of look at the price action and see what we're we're doing here. We've got Cytoscan. scan. Uh, we're going to move on to the the volume here. Four point eight one k. This is not very big volume right now. Total market cap eleven point three five million. Liquidity of three hundred and forty six thousand. Now remember, uh, when this was launched, this was under uh, the Ethereum blockchain. Seven point seven billion market cap. There were a lot of holders. A lot of holders but a lot of that had to do with reflection with mechanisms that were happening at that time uh, to make it look like there were a lot of new holders and then there was another version another version you know so you know this is a little different here this is an under the radar thing and you have to ask yourself at this point is this a renewed thing if this is the 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 project that once had $7.7 .7 billion market cap, is there some opportunity for that to happen? Well, the baggage that was wrong with it seems to be gone right now. So uh, price action, however, this is a bear market, and it should be stressed that when you, uh, when you talk about projects in this market, a lot of it is bearish. Now, you could be looking at it and say, well, what about, um, what about Solana? There's a whole bunch of trading going on Solana. It's pump and dump. I mean, it's not something that's going to last a very long time. These are pump and dumps that are happening. Uh, but I would look, and I would venture to say here that this is kind of an under the radar um, sort of project at this point. You know, we've got this going down in a descending channel. And by the way, it looks like it's kind of rounded itself a little bit. You can even make an argument that it's more like this right here. Um, that, it, that it's kind of this little long-term sort of flag pattern, or you can look at this and say, well, you know, it's probably more like this right here. So a breakout could be imminent at any time, whether it breaks to the up or downside. It's more likely that it breaks to the upside because the market is about to hit that bear trend, but we don't know. We don't, we don't know what's going to happen, but going back, we do know that you can Get on this test net. There's 6,500 transactions. Average block time is 5.99 seconds. Uh, you can get involved here. You have a faucet, so you can test this out. When it goes live, uh, there will be more activity, more building on it. <clears throat> the deployment of uh, smart contracts on it. Uh, by the way, you can go look at your contracts. Um, uh, I would suggest uh, before making an investment or before doing anything that you read the white paper and that you know what it is that you're getting into. Um, if you want to build a contract, I believe it's going to be through Solidity because most are. Uh, it's the simplest form of, of, of doing it, but you can go through and, and you can do that. And uh, if you need to go through the, the transactions, you can also do that. Uh, so there, there are a lot of things that you can uh, find out about this project. Now, on the broader market, uh, MEXC uh, shows pretty much the same pattern without the the, the wild fluctuation in, in price swings. So it becomes a little easier to see that more likely this just represents a, a parallel channel. But it's sort of breaking down a little bit. Uh, at, at some point, there should be a breakout. Now, you can see in the parallel channel, it's trending along the upside of it. So there could be a correction to the downside before a breakout. But a breakout is potential and possible uh, if, you know, if the markets will it. And over here, you can see 48.7 million market cap, uh, $318,000 in total volume. Now, remember, I just told you 4.8K in volume. Well, that's only on Uniswap. And of course, the fees are tremendous right now on, uh, uh, on, on Uniswap. So, you know, we're trying to stay away from that. But the markets, here you have it right here, 178,000 in trading volume on MEXE, making it probably the most active. Now, L Bank shows a little bit more active. However, um, they're, they're, that doesn't add up. So uh, it looks like all of this is being added. And then L Bank is down here with a couple of asterisks. Like uh, there might be a question about the volume over there. So uh, not sure why that is. You can also see there's a decent spread with some major arbitrage sort of opportunities here. Uh, so you might see some wild kind of swings here. On Poloniex, 
you're, you're looking here that they're still trading Saitama, uh, but it looks like they're doing it at or near this price as a conversion. So, you know, there are a lot of, uh, you know, probably some stuff to go through here uh, and figure out what this looks like. Uh, but here we are. Uh, we're, we're in the market. Um, I, I would suggest, uh, I'm not suggesting MEXC to people anymore, but uh, MEXC seems to have the most volume uh, followed by BitMart. So certainly go check that out if you are interested. But again, the most important thing, do your own research. This is the white paper and it is not found. And that is based on the Saitama white paper. So um, I would be asking a question here on, on why that is. Now, I'm sure that somebody uh, could give me some information about that. Um, and I think that really what this comes down to, as you look around here, you see that this most probably is not updated by CoinMarketCap because it appears to be based on Saitama. However, that would, you know, that in yourself, if you're, again, we're, we're looking at this and we're trying to be objective, but that would give me cause for concern. So I'm going to go to Cytochain over here and I'm going to go look and see how easy it is for me to find this white paper. Um, I can, I've got the home, I can download, I can do this. I'm going to assume this is going to give me a context menu. Uh, it doesn't give me anything. It gives me the same stuff I already have. Now, it should be easy for me to find the white paper and I haven't found it so far. Um, I can explore the side of chain blogs. I can continue on down here. Now I've got the white paper. Now I'm going to hit that and it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, so this is where it takes me. So uh, it's just popping me back up to the beginning. So I don't have a white paper. So uh, I would, you know, I, there's some concerns that we might want to address here. And by the way, if you are invested in Cytochain and you are somebody who is, uh, you know, part of this, or you are, you know, uh, an investor and you're looking for positive feedback, well, then it, it should be easy. Uh, you know, it, it should be easy for me to find what I need or what I want in order to feel confident. And, you know, if, if I don't feel confident about a project, then very tough to recommend. Uh, we go through the links here, and of course, that's going to take us to the side of chain, which checks out. Uh, we're going to go over here. There's a Facebook, there's a uh, Instagram, there is a YouTube channel, there's a Telegram channel, there's a Discord, um, there's a TikTok. Uh, I, we'll find, let's find out what this is. We got a Reddit. Uh, so you know, there are places that you can go in order to get information. However, no white paper. That's kind of. Um, that, that's kind of odd. So um, I think maybe uh, for the moment, we would like to see a little bit more out of sighted chain. And the reason that I would be hesitant at this point for anything other than a degen play where I might be able to flip it and make a little bit of profit is because I can't readily download the information, the necessary information that I need in order to make a decision. Therefore, only wild speculative investors and um, people who've already been part of Saitama who like the changes are going to be the investors. Hence, there are probably a low amount of current investors on Cytochain. So, um, but I think that, you know, we should, uh, we should maybe get some updates on this. And if anybody from the team uh, is interested and happens to, to watch this or look at it for your clarity on the questions that maybe um, I or anybody else would be asking, then, you know, maybe it would be a good idea to to fix some of this stuff so that we have some clarity and we know exactly what's going on. Because right now I have questions and I have questions that I just can't readily answer. And I feel like at this point, I should be able to answer those questions pretty simply. And it starts with the white paper. And it should not start with the white paper and my inability to just find it. So, but guys, let me know what you think about Cytochain STC. You can still, you can invest in it and you can go check it and do your own research and figure out what you see. But these are the questions that I have. Now, um, I would be willing to follow up on this if they clean up this act. And I would be willing to say that, you know, a lot of people like Manny, a lot of people even back in the old days with Saitama, the, the one person that they were bullish on, and it was Manny. So I would be willing to say that this has some potential and 
the fact that this is all based out of Dubai, which I believe is going to become something of a big crypto hub, might also be an enticement for people. And, you know, this could be, could be a gem of a product. I would not tell you, um, I, I would certainly not, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give you financial advice or tell you what you should invest your hard-earned money into. Uh, I can tell you that at this point, I would not buy this. I know the history. I do think that we've reached a bottom, but I don't know where the upside is. But I can see that with Cited Chain launching, there might be some upside to it that we might see. And it, look, it wouldn't be anything to see a 5x to a 50 million market cap on it in, in short order. So I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying that I'm hesitant uh, at this point, I prefer to look at things uh, for new investment. If I'm looking at it, then what I would prefer to see is my questions, my best, my best questions easily answered. That's what I want to see. So if I can get something like that, then I would feel good. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is Cytochain. It's the derivative now of Saitama. Uh, this is all new. This is all, um, you know, let, let's, you know. Uh, let's see what happens here. And, um, you know, maybe we'll follow up at some point. But uh, let me know what you think again in the comments down below. And this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.